Greetings, critical viewers, and welcome to my playthrough of Silent Hill Origins, the fifth game in the Silent Hill series, originally created for the PSP, and uh, I am playing the PS2 version of the game that a subscriber generously donated to me. Thank you very much, I am very excited to play it, and it recently won the viewer poll on my Facebook page for a new playthrough, so I am guessing you guys are excited as well. It is a prequel to the first Silent Hill game, giving some background on the events that transpired there. And I've heard some mixed reviews on how well it does that background, but I'm excited nonetheless. And if you're interested in other Silent Hill games that I've played, I have played 2, 3, and 4. If you check the link in the description that says playlists, uh, you should be able to find the playlist of those series as well if you're interested. And without further ado, let's get it started. Uh, one note, I am not going to be using face cam for this playthrough because I believe in giving these more cinematic story-oriented games their full due, so to speak. We definitely want subtitles on, and I guess vibration. I don't really care. I hope the mic doesn't pick it up. Sorry if it does. Alright, let's do it. Who did I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Tree top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, late on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stopping for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about losing your pants when you do your thing, how you don't even remember how or why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10 4. Catch you later, buddy. Ah, uh, trucker camaraderie. How charming. Oh, I thought he meant Brahms the restaurant. I thought he was stopping for ice cream. Alright, never mind. Is that supposed to be Alessa? Huh? Hey, come back! <laughs> you little shit, get back here! All right, hang on, I gotta familiarize myself with the controls and the menus and such. So we got a clip-on flashlight, a cheap pocket radio, my lucky quarter. Let me examine this. I've had this quarter since I was a kid, from when my parents died. It's kind of a lucky charm. It has something scratched into it. Looks like 61. Hmm. 
I wonder what significance that number holds. I don't have any supplies. That's not good. I don't have any weapons either. Ooh. Hang on a second. The, the music's pretty loud in my headphones. I don't want it to get picked up by the mic. Let's look at the controls. Alright, so... Looks like you use the top D-pad button to cycle through weapons. That's cool. Um, triangle brings up the map. Circle is torch. Square is run. X is interact. So pretty standard stuff. R1 is uh, combat stance. L1 is center camera. All right, thank you. Center camera does nothing here. Oh, I see. Let's let the credits roll. So I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this game. Some people are saying it's, uh, you know, <clears throat> the same as the, uh, about the same level as the other games that followed it, Homecoming and whatnot. And then others have told me it's better than those, so we'll see what happens. I'm not expecting this to be on the same level as the first four Silent Hills, all of which I pretty much enjoyed. Shifting camera angles. Gotta love it. Not the bike. It's smoke. My god. Dahlia? I'm just guessing. In no there. clue. I'm supposing that they're gonna use the same characters from the first game. Oh yes, head into the burning. What? What? Have, what about your truck, dude? You just gonna leave it? Something's blocking it. I can't open the door. That's too bad. Um, what about this door? Can you open this one? Hmm. Locked from the other side. Wow. Ow. Okay, so. Huh, the controls are uh, a little different than previous Silent Hill games. They're more 3D. Okay, let's see. Oh, thanks! Oh, God, I, I hope I didn't skip anything important. There's no time to look at books. I agree. Why'd you do that, Tracy? Travis? I keep wanting to call him Tracy. His name's Travis Grady. Reminds me of Tracy McGrady. No, that's pretty random. But, uh... He's a lot easier to control when he's walking. Hey. Hey, hey. Wait, what? Oh, no. So that's Alessa. You're coming with me. Uh, her skin's clearly been charred. Probably hurts a lot to touch it like that. Alright. Well, uh, let's GTFO. Ah, don't stop running into the fire, man. Get your act together. Oh. Good job landing on your feet like that. Hey, it's that uh, seal or whatever. Not the seal of Metatron, the other one. The one from... That's the one from 4, right? Here it is, right? Yeah! We did it! We were the hero of the... Oh, we're not out yet. Ow! I can't freaking see. Is this the front door? This is a picture. 
What's wrong with me? Sorry. Um. Oh, it was wide open. Wow. Safe now. Hey, someone help her. Where is everyone? Passing out from the fumes, bro. in Silent Hill, sucker. Silent Hill? What happened last night? That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. Hmm. Okay. Wait, am I... Am I right there? Alright, well that should be easy to do. Is the map always that zoomed in? Is there any way to... I mean, I guess I don't need to zoom out right now, but... You know one thing I take for granted in a lot of games today is the mini-map. On screen. It's very useful. Then you don't have to freaking open it up every two seconds to figure out where you are. Alright. Speed limit's 35, Travis. Slow down. I know it's probably boring for me to go straight to the hospital, but... <clears throat> probably could have explored a little more. Maybe I would have found a weapon. That might have been smarter. Cool... Cola. Huh. You'd think that the C would be a K, considering. Public notice under construction. Currently the second and third floor- Oh, thank you very much for that. Are undergoing renovations. At this time they are closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest. And the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide you, our uh, valued patient, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips, chairman of Alcamilla Board. That deserved its own page. His title. Uh, just some magazines. Oh, look. Thanks! Yeah, yes! Taking a while to save my data, I see. Thanks. Alright, so, uh... I guess time to explore and such. The exam room is locked, however. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to play this game on the PSP. I imagine it was pretty impressive. Because, I mean, the graphics look pretty good for PS2. I mean, this came out... I think this... When, when this came out? This came out, like, for the PS2 near the end of its life. It's, uh, I want to say, like, 2005, 2006, something like that. So that was about the time, you know, PS3 and Xbox 360 were on the horizon. They might have even been out in 2005, I'm not sure. I think the Wii came out in 2005. I don't know, I'm not up on my release dates. I can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. That generation of consoles lasted forever. The 360 and the PS3. I, I, I'd argue that it's still going on. I mean, the PS4 and the Xbox One haven't really taken off yet. I know a ton of dedicated gamers that don't even own 
uh, one of their own yet. Including me. Everybody's been asking me to play the PT demo for Silent Hills. Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. There's no one in reception. Which floor are you going to, bro? I'm gonna stalk you. You're going to floor two, huh? Let me check. Let me. Does it. Oh. oh. Wait, was I supposed to get a map in the. Ugh. I need to look on the walls. I am not doing this without a map. No siree. I've learned my lesson. Alright, so you know what I said? just said about the graphics? Eh, it's kind of a step down from three and four. And then again, it was a handheld title, so... I can't knock it too hard. Ugh. The camera angles, dude. Wait a second. Here? Wait, how do you... Is this the... This was it. Now, in general Silent Hill fashion, they generally have a map or something on the door. Is this one? Oh god, How'd I, I walked right past that. Oh my god. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. So we've explored the entirety of uh, the first floor. Except the, the only door that we could open, he was like, I'm not doing that because I gotta find that little girl first. Oh, by the way, uh, you may have already noticed from the video length, but I'm going to make videos from this series pretty long, so I just figure it's kind of a long video playthrough. I like to do that every now and then. Mix it up. Alright, so the one straight ahead of me, I don't know if I checked that one. This one. Funny. Oh, okay, but the lock's not broken, so I can go in it if I have a key. Gotcha. Well, good thing I went back for the map. Oh, do I have to press the this mysterious button over here? What about this? A dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? I guess so. This this hospital doesn't really seem like it's very clean. Perfect. Yes. You okay? How convenient. I'll take it. I got a hammer. Oh, yes. Ah. Oh, quick time events? Wow! I was not expecting quick time events. Hmm. Wait, how do I use my weapon? Okay, so this. Oh my god, this is horrible. X. Okay, that I well I I pressed X. That was the first button that I pressed, but it didn't appear to do anything at first. I guess I just that my timing must have been off or something. Well, now we have a weapon. That's good. Do they break in this game? I hope not. The gurney is stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. That's not good. Let me read something. Preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns. Patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? Alright, so this is clearly about Alessa, the girl that we just rescued from that burning house. And I'm guessing that that was Dahlia running away. Hmm. Wait a second. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis? But they're third degree burns. That means that they went past the epidermis. 
That's why they're called third degree burns. Am I wrong? I hope I'm not wrong. First degree burns are epidermis only, second degree are epidermis and dermis, and third degree are even lower than that. That's what I thought. Then again, I'm not a expert in this field, so. Heh <laughs> Medicine cabinet full of drugs I don't recognize. You don't want to take one? One could be a health potion, sir. Are you not aware that this is how Silent Hill works? Medical charts, they mean nothing to me. I like how every single character that I play with in Silent Hill is completely ignorant of the things that they see around them. That doesn't matter to me, that doesn't... That's not important, etc, etc. Wait, am I about to die? Do I put my hand on this? You're the girl from the fire. How did you... Wait, how does he know that she's... What? How does he know that she's the girl from the fire? Things. This ain't right. How does he know that? Wait, shouldn't he recognize her as the girl from the road? Not the girl from the fire? Because the girl from the fire that you picked up was... Burnt beyond recognition. Oh, are we in the other world now? Great. Okay, well... Aha! Yes! I got a health drink, thank god. I was wondering about that. Alright, so Alessa wants us to be in the other world. That's cool, I guess. I go with the flow. Can I help you with something? Okay, sorry. Man, this place is hostile. Um, there. Ooh, that's a handy function, actually. I got frustrated with the camera angles in a lot of the other Silent Hill games. Something's blocking it. I can't open the door. It seems jammed. I can't open the door. Jam, do you say? I think the scariest thing about Silent Hill is that none of the doors work. How do people get around? They have to use all these roundabout ways? Something's blocking it. Someone there? It's playing the music that's like, someone's there, but I don't see anybody. Okay, so this is clearly where we go. Again, is there any way I can... I guess not. <clears throat> Can't go into those rooms. Alright, so there are stairs, that's good. This is really zoomed in. Like, I kind of appreciate it, because in some other Silent Hill games it's been hard to read the map, but... Here, I think I'd actually like to zoom out a little bit. At least have the ability to. Hmm. So one thing, one thing that's kind of weird, his response time for sprint is very delayed. Alright, here, I'm gonna press it. One, two, three. It, it takes him like a full second and a half to respond. Where are we now? This is... Oh, this is the stairwell. I don't want to go down just yet. I haven't... I'm not done exploring the floor. There might be some fun things here. Excuse me? A thing! I want the thing! Damn it! Camera angles... there. I got the golden egg. That's... interesting. Oh, I don't want to use it. I do want to examine it though. Warm to the touch, this egg is larger than a hen's and has an oily shine to it. It also has a strange emblem on it. I guess that's not worthy of commentary though. Hmm. What's this? Bowling pen looking thing on the ground. I said bowling pen, I obviously meant bowling pin. A bowling pen. That would be... Oh. 
Oh! Quick time! I find it very strange that there's quick time in this game. What? It did break. So basically, for my finishing move, I should de-equip whatever weapon I have. Good to know. I'm glad I found that out now, but now I don't have any weapons. That's weird. I I don't remember other Silent Hill games where, where the character gets into fist fights with the enemies. That's a first. The heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember the three beauties who cause it to pump, so are the key, age before beauty. Wait, what? Okay, so this is obviously hinting at some sort of puzzle. Okay, so there's three parties here. Heart, ice, and key, right? Age before beauty. What's in this room? That's it, huh? Let me read this again. Oh. Oh. Eww. Never mind. I just have to find a code in some other note, I'm sure, and then we'll come back to it. So, uh, I know we haven't gotten very far into the story yet, but just gameplay-wise, I don't really have any complaints. This seems fairly... classic Silent Hill to me. We'll go to another floor, though. Hopefully we'll find a weapon. I think most of the problems that people have with this game is the story. There is a death mask on the door. Underneath is a, is a plaque which reads, even the blind have need of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. So I've got to find two eyes to put in the death mask. Is that it? Oh, God. Thank you for responding. Oval depression. Even in this inferno from out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Okay. Great. Lock's broken. That's unfortunate. Alright. No! You're not going to stab me. All right, fine. You want you what? Let me explore in peace, please. Stay down. All right, let me look at the map. Hmm. Okay, so I... Wow, there's, like, nowhere to go. Um... Something's blocking it, I can't open the door. Is this the... oh. Alright, so that's the women's restroom for some reason. I got an alcohol bottle. What is that for? Oh, it's a melee item. What? Really? bludgeon people over the head with that stuff? Alright, I'll save it, because the enemies are really easy right now, and I don't I really have any need for it. Alright, so this is the stairs. You're telling me I can't go this way, correct? Huh. I don't have anything for this stuff. I guess... I guess we go down to the first floor. Well, we're on the first floor. We can only go up. Oh, you, there's nothing over here, I guess. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Golden egg goes to the... Wow. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm stupid. Um, the golden egg is supposed to be used on the floor that I just... What? I got a portable TV. Wow, I didn't even... I didn't know I could take that. Oh, it's a weapon. Really? 
bash people over the head with a portable TV? That's an old ass TV too. All right, so we're at the end of the hallway. Um, yeah, so I'm an idiot. The egg obviously goes to the door for the women's restroom because it said stuff about like birth, birth out of the flames or whatever. And I was too distracted by the nurse to really digest it or else I would have known. Oh God, all right. Are you back up, seriously? Oh, you're just playing the music. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we, uh, how do we use this? Do I just pull it up and then hit use? Okay. I didn't know if there was a quicker way or not. Ooh, hello, sir. Oh, wait, what? So you... So you go through mirrors in between the other world and the... Ah, uh, huh. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be annoying. The cistern lid is loose. I got a plastic liver. It was contained in a stone cistern for some reason. In a bathroom. Nothing to see, just a filthy toilet. Maybe it's clogged up and you should put your hand in it. But who would do that? That's disgusting. Alright, so I think we've kind of plumbed the depths of this overworld of- uh, other world, not overworld. So we're gonna go back to the normal one. I'm sure that there's some things that were blocked earlier that I can do now. Doesn't sound like anyone's in there. Amy 31. Huh. I got the staff lounge key. That's useful. I wonder if I use that here or in the other world. Maybe both. Now it's unlocked. Huh. I see. So staff lounge, huh? Where is that? Staff lounge. It's over here. Okay. We're making progress. I'm I'm enthused. Hey, a thing. I want it. Thanks. Just old textbooks, reports, and magazines. Nothing I need. Yeah, you don't you don't read much, do you, Travis? Why'd you zoom in on the table if there's nothing there for me? I got another health drink. How do you check your health? Am I okay? Oh, my status is blinking a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit obsessive and use one. There you go. I don't know how close I was to actually being in trouble, but I got ahead of it. Stay on top of that shit. Construction! As you know, the renovations to the upper floors have run into problems. The plumbing leak and substandard materials used have forced us to close off the third floor until further notice. We are reminded of the familiar adage. Oh crap, how do you pronounce that? Adage? Adage. The familiar adage. Adage. Some, everything sounds wrong. You get what you pay for. We now face six more months of work, reducing our capacity for the coming year. We will have to cut spending on inpatient care and consultancy fees by 50%. Therefore, we ask doctors to refrain from committing patients and encourage home stays instead. Unless they're dying in your arms, don't book them in. Staff party! What a great transition. That's a perfect segue. Worry not! The staff party is still on. Our recreation budget is locked away where no one can tamper. Everyone meet at Annie's Bar at 8 p.m. on Friday. Alcohol, medicinal of course, will, and food will be free. Arrive early to grab a trainee nurse. They go quick. What? So this is interesting. Huh. So they're gonna cut spending on inpatient care, but they're gonna have a staff party. Their recreation budget is uh, 
where no one can mess with it, I guess. I got a toaster. Are you also gonna get that key? I got the exam room key. The toaster is a weapon. My god. That is strange. I mean, I guess you can't always have a uh, sledgehammer handy, but... Sheesh. Alright, so now we can go also go into the conference lounge. Please, please. Oh, God. What did I expect? Alright, exam room. Where are you? Over there. I don't know. I, uh... I don't really have a problem with this game so far. It's seems fine to me. I just I don't know. I guess I was I, I was severely tempering my ex expectations based on what people were telling me, but I mean we're barely you know we're barely like half an hour into it, so it's a plastic ana anatomy doll that's missing some parts. Take a look. I see. Wait. Does it snap into place or? Okay. That is where your liver is, I was just wondering. That's where it's actually located. What? Why was that weird? That was, that was a weird little transition. There's a light box on the wall, turn it on. Sarah 19. So we got Amy 31, Sarah 19. I'm guessing that these are for the code for the icebox? Don't tell me it's a weapon. Oh my god, it is. Wow. Notice to all staff, it is forbidden to enter my office unaccompanied until further notice. Dr. Kaufman. F you, man. I'm gonna go in there anyway. As soon as I find a key. This is another... This is another... Another alcohol bottle. I have two. Does it take up two slots? Oh my god, it does! Wow! Alright, well I guess I have lots of items to break. Over people's heads. Lock's broken. That's too bad. Doctor's office, though. I wanna go in there. This one... No. This one's all boarded up. The doorway is sealed up tight. I can't get through. That's unfortunate. So wait. We can go out to the lobby. Where else can we go? Well, we can go back to the overworld. I keep saying overworld. It's otherworld. Overworld is like fucking Super Mario 64 type of stuff. All right. Like, go to the volcano world, go to the scary ghost world, go to the thing. Oh, this leads out. Duh. Stupid. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Since I've pretty much explored everything here, I'm gonna go back. Hey, wait, where, where was that icebox? Was that in the other world, or was that here? I feel like it was here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go up to the uh, second floor anyway. Ooh! Ooh, I wanna save! I totally want to save. Yeah. Override it. Saving data takes a long time. Alright, Travis, I'm going to need you to book it. It's taking way too long. Maybe if you weren't carrying a gigantic alcohol bottle, you might travel faster. Nope, you're just slow. <laughs> 